Hey guys, day 293, I believe. So that's what 72 more days. Hooray! Anyway, I think it work right now, and I am, as usual, running late. Well, at least in my mind, I'm late. Anyway, uh, got a little wrapped up in whew, apartment searching again, so, yeah, that's going well. I mean, it's not that I haven't found any, uh, potentials, I just haven't uh, contacted anyone yet, so... I think uh, the search is not going well, largely in part due to me. <sighs> so, yeah. Huh. Trip home from uh, Rhode Island barely even you No. Used a little over a quarter of a tank. Hmm. The trip up to Rhode Island used a quarter of a tank. So, hmm. huh. Well, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh yeah, no, I, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, I had to fill up my tank twice for the trip to and from Pennsylvania. Rhode Island, only one uh, trip to the gas station, and I don't know. I'm I, I just don't know what to say right now. So, uh, okay, this is getting really, really awkward. So I'm going to cut right here and uh, continue talking to you guys later after work. All right, so got home a long, long time ago. Did not feel like vlogging. As soon as I got home, I just did not feel like doing anything at all. So, um, huh. Didn't do anything at work. Didn't do anything when I got home. It's one of those days. Yeah. Ugh. Work was so mind numbingly dull. And I was, it's so warm too. I, even when I was chugging an energy drink, it, it took a lot of effort out of me just to stay awake because it's so warm in that office. Oh. Anyway, let me do today's useless facts and then I'll get to that story that I promised you guys last night. <clears throat> so, here we go. Today's useless facts. Seafood. The giant clam of the South Seas, also known as Tridacna gigas, can make 100 gallons of chowder. It can reach giant lengths of over 4 feet and weigh in excess of 500 pounds. Wow. They should really farm these and reserve them for homeless shelters. Now there's an idea. Of course, with the way uh, the economy works, yeah. The Japanese spider crab, Macrochera ka m. Fairy, uh, that's a long and complicated name, is the largest known arthropod with a very large name. Fully grown, it can boast a 13 foot leg span. Feet. 13 feet leg span. Hmm. Plural. A body size of up to 15 inches and a weight of up to 44 pounds. That's a big spider. 
It is believed to have a life expectancy of up to 100 years. And tastes incredible with butter. Well, of course, what wouldn't taste incredible with butter? More butter? Lobsters actually come... <clears throat> Lobsters actually come in an array of colors. Blue, light yellow, greenish brown, gray, dusty orange, calico. What the hell is calico? Is that like a white color? Like a chalky white? Hmm. And, e and some even have spots. <clears throat> Despite its original coloring, Lobster always turns red when cooked. Red lobsters. An average oyster filters over 50 gallons of water each day by sucking it in and spitting it back out again. Yeah, no kidding. This action allows the oyster to gather food particles from the water while filtering out things like gold, mercury, arsenic, and lead. The scallop is a hermaphrodite. The shell contains both the female and the male gonad. But it is quite normal for the hermaphrodite scallop to fertilize with other scallops. Well, yeah, you would kind of want to fertilize with another scallop because if you fertilize with yourself, then that You're basically making clones. And genetic diversity is very important for the survival of a species. Not only that, but uh, fertilizing with yourself, you're, that's kind of uh, their equivalent of masturbating. And when you masturbate, you're only screwing yourself. Yeah, I went there. Anyway, that does it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have... Um, no, we've already done sex. That was one of the very first, uh, the Sex Pistols. Okay. Aren't they a band? Okay, so, mind only dull day at work, whatever, I'm home. Now, time for that, uh, post-Temple Con story that I promised you guys. So, um, after Temple Con was over, that is to say, after pretty much everyone had left, um, oh, excuse me, uh, we uh, went out for uh, dinner, and by we, I mean myself, Savin, um, Tony, and uh, uh, Major Salisbury of the uh, Big Bear Trading Company, um, by the way, special th uh, thank you to them for allowing us to stay in their room for the weekend. And if you guys uh, ever uh, see them at any convention, please stop by, uh, say hi to them, buy some neat stuff. Uh, they got everything you could uh, that the uh, average uh, time traveler could possibly ever need. So, yeah, fun stuff in their store. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so myself, Seven, Tony, um, Big Bear. Uh, and uh, the folks that were running the uh, tea and absinthe uh, booth in the vendor room, I don't believe I ever caught their names, but uh, also another vendor you should check out if you ever see them. Anyway, I'm uh, going off topic here. We uh, went out for dinner. First, we decided um, uh, to go to a, a Japanese restaurant called, um, what is it called? Uh, Haruki, I think it is. Um, we were in the mood for sushi. So, yeah, I think it was called Haruki. Um, so we went there, pulled up. The parking lot was fair. No, not even fairly. It was literally empty. So we pull up, go up to the door. And you know what? They were closed. Really? Closed? Why were they closed? Oh, Super Bowl. 
They were closed for Super Bowl. What kind of Asian restaurant closes for Super Bowl? Okay, that's going to be going off topic, and that's going to be another story, or another ranting entirely, but for the sake of uh, time, let's just stick with the main story. Uh, so, okay, disappointment, but then we uh, went, uh, we, everyone pulled out their smartphones, started them looking for the next possible Japanese restaurant, I guess. Or someplace where we could get sushi. So, um, uh, the next stop we went to, um, what was it? Uh, it's called uh, Shogun Steak and Seafood, I believe. Yep, uh, Shogun Steak and Seafood. I'll leave the uh, address and uh, you know stuff down in the links below. Um, anyway, uh, so we went there. They were open. Awesome! They were also kind of empty in there. Well, no surprise. Super Bowl. Who goes out on Super Bowl? So, anyway, we were excited that um, uh, there was an Asian restaurant that was opened. So we go in, we're seated. It's a hibachi um, uh, seating. So, oh. Yeah, that was kind of my uh, uh, response on the inside because I've been to a hibachi restaurant before. Um, not entirely too enthusiastic about them. I mean, they're really entertaining. Don't get me wrong, and the food is good, but I don't. I'm not really too enthusiastic about hibachis only because uh, this one time I went and uh, you know that thing where they have uh, a toss the food into everyone's mouth yeah so uh, didn't have that great experience the first time but uh, you know what whatever it's food you know so and I was getting hungry at the time so anyway we're seated, we get our food, yada yada yada. Great. That's all normal. Then, our chef comes out. And, uh, I got, uh, this guy was absolutely hilarious. Um, I mean, if you have ever seen, uh, any of the, um, uh, the steampunk uh, panels and, uh, our performances, this guy would fit in perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. In fact, um, uh, the entire night we were all laughing our um, uh, asses off. Um, and I mean, he uh, told jokes, he uh, made us laugh, we told jokes, we made him laugh. It was all like, you know, we all melded very well, I guess I could say. And uh, so. Where, where, where am I going with this? I, I have a really horrible um, uh, storytelling. Uh, I suck at storytelling. There we go. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we were having such a good time uh, that we kind of lost track of time, in fact. And uh, the restaurant closed and we were still in there talking and eating and laughing and joking and yada 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 um, and you know they just loved us at that restaurant we loved them they loved us it's a big happy love fest and uh, we were treated like um, uh, friends uh, there actually it's like, and at the end when um, the day when they closed up uh, uh, I guess um, uh, they usually have like a, um, a closing party um, in there and uh, so uh, we were kind of uh, treated to that and uh, okay I'm rambling I'm rambling stop it get back to the story at hand here I should have probably um, written all this down huh because now I'm uh, really really rambling and uh, oh. okay so 
you know what, before I am a ramble any further, I think I should just skip everything and jump straight to the end, because this is not working out the way I thought it was going to work out, uh, the story that is. So, near the end of uh, our evening there, like the last hour, half hour, uh, Seven is just making this pitch to him, uh, the chef, and it's like, we want you on board, yeah, and, uh, uh he, and I mean, personally, I do want him on board as well, he's like, he, he fits in with the crew, he would fit in with the crew so perfectly, and, uh, uh, I think we might have a new hire, um, uh. Wow, I really suck at storytelling. I'm going to have to work on that. I should really, really just stick with uh, scripting out stories whenever if I'm ever going to tell another story. I suppose my afterthoughts videos usually are storytelling anyway, huh? They're not really great stories either. Then again, I do pause a lot, say ums a lot, and... Yeah! The main point of the, uh, the today's uh, vlog, I suck at storytelling. Um, okay, you know what, uh, I really am I messed up that entire story, so I'm not going to uh, waste your time any further by rambling on like a, uh, a madman. No, no, that's not even a madman. A madman would be raving, not rant, uh, uh, rambling. Okay, you know what, uh, before I um, uh, make myself look even more... Uh, foolish than I, than I already have. Uh, I'm just going to end it here today, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So, um, yeah.